Parler as to how the quarter has gone by and to break down those numbers for us, we have with us Mr. Dinesh Agarwal, founder and CEO of India Mart who joins us now. Welcome to NETV Profit, sir. My yeah. My first question to you is that, you know, give us some color on how the quarter has gone by, you know, good set of numbers, net sub subscribers have improved. So tell us how the overall, uh, you know, uh, tra trajectory of the company is panning out to be. So uh, the quarter has been satisfactory on a uh, few fronts and unsatisfactory on few fronts. So if you really see, uh, we have improved the uh, margin from last year uh, same quarter to this year same quarter. Uh, we have been able to optimize certain cost and uh, improve the productivity. On the standalone basis, the margin is about 30%. On the uh, customer front also, we last uh, quarter we did about 1800 customer. This quarter we have been able to improve uh, net addition of about 2700 uh, customers. So uh, we will continue to improve from here on. Uh, towards our uh, usual target of 5,000 customers per quarter in a couple of quarters. Uh, since the last four or five quarters have been uh, slower on the uh, customer addition, so we have been relying mostly on the uh, ARPU growth or uh, customer realization growth, uh, which has resulted into uh, good revenue and good uh, uh, collections in the quarter one and quarter two, but in the quarter three, uh, collections had come down to 16-17% and the quarter 4 also collections had come down to 16-17% which has also resulted into the lowering of the revenue from operations to only 17 odd percent. Uh, we believe that uh, one or uh, one or two more quarters uh, are going to be tough on the uh, collection side uh, but as we improve the uh, paying subscriber uh, base addition our collection from customers will also improve towards upwards of 20% and uh, then our revenue from operations will start to grow from there. Understood. So uh, you had guided for, uh, you know, a 20% growth in collections. So from um, H2 is what you're expecting that they'll recover from the 16% mark to 20% mark? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, in terms of, your, you know, uh, your churn in silver category that's remain elevated, you know, and that's that's a concern which is overhanging. And um, so, you know, I want to understand that thereby, you know, going forward, will it continue to be same and will it impact your overall um, revenue growth itself? As I said earlier, uh, uh, it has been declining uh, uh, quarter on quarter for the last four quarters. Uh, we have come down from uh, five six uh, thousand customer addition per quarter to uh, barely two thousand customer addition per quarter, uh, which was the result of both uh, some uh, one thousand customers uh, shaved off from the uh, gross addition and uh, more coming from the silver monthly and silver annual churn. Now, having said that, uh, we are working towards uh, correction of both. Uh, over the next uh, two quarters, I am confident that uh, we should be able to get back to our uh, usual 5,000 customer per quarter addition and then uh, collection and uh, revenue will fall in place as well. Okay. And uh, can you give us a brief uh, understanding as to what is your mix between, um, you know, platinum, gold, silver and free suppliers right now? So, uh, we uh, give you the... Uh, in the investor presentation, if you see, we have started giving a, a guidance on the silver and gold total customer base, which is about uh, closer to some gold and platinum total customer base, which is about 50% of the total customer base and contributes about 75% of the uh, revenue. Uh, our top 10% uh, ARPU has also been growing significantly over the last five years or so. It has grown from 1,30,000 rupees to almost 2,60,000 rupees in the last five years. Uh, on the overall ARPU side, I think uh, uh, we are now sitting at uh, last year at about 53,000 rupees. Okay. And uh, can you give us some idea as to, you know, what is the share of uh, outsourced sales from your total revenue? Outsource sales, uh, uh, we use outsource sales only for the new client acquisition. And as I have been guiding earlier also, depending upon a particular month or a quarter, 
uh, we try and maintain a balance about uh, 50 50 percent 50 percent coming in from in-house and 50 percent uh, targeted from outside uh, some certain quarters it could be 45 55 and or it could be 55 45 Understood. And Mr. Agarwal, you know, in, in your last con call, you had mentioned that uh, you're making investments to enhance customer experience. Now, I really want to understand, you know, what are the kind of investments that you're making, any progress in that from Q3 and going forward in FY25, you know, if you can give us some color on that. Yeah, so enhancing customer experience is uh, one uh, we have started to invest uh, on the chatbot side, AI-enabled chatbot. So if you really see some of the margin improvement that has come from the buyer side customer experience improvement, uh, where we have implemented uh, a buyer side chatbot uh, and, and we have been able to reduce the call volumes uh, for buyer customer service. And uh, it has resulted into significant cost savings as well as uh, improved uh, buyer satisfaction that we don't need to disturb them uh, on call and they can leisurely reply over uh, uh, WhatsApp or uh, Messenger uh, at their ease. So we are continuing to work on that side. We will use uh, multiple uh, AI technologies that are coming up uh, in order to improve the matchmaking and in order to improve the relevancy of the matchmaking for the supplier and buyer both. Okay, uh, Mr. Agarwal, you know, um, I'll, I'll ask a question from a long-term perspective, you know, what kind of revenue growth you're seeing for the next uh, three years, one thing, and you know, you've, uh, your margins are very good at 30%. So going forward, um, FY25, FY26, what are your margins looking like then? So margin, as I said, uh, we have now... Uh, we feel very confident that uh, this 30% margin we are going to protect uh, over the next uh, year or so. Uh, as I said, if we, uh, if we are able to do upwards of 20% uh, revenue growth, uh, then uh, we will probably have our margin expansion uh, by one odd percent every year. Uh, but uh, on a very, very longer period of time, I'm not uh, uh, a future grazing uh, person who can give you an idea into what would be the three-year uh, revenue guidance. But uh, looking at uh, past performance, I think we have been growing upwards of 20% in revenue. And uh, about, uh, you know, if you leave out the uh, COVID years and the COVID recovery years, we have been typically having 18% of the uh, <clears throat> expenses growth. So there has been uh, some margin expansion on that side. Uh, having said that, now that we have reached to 30 odd percent, I think it will be slower from here on, but it will all depend on the uh, what kind of top line growth we can manage. Understood. Well, Mr. Agarwal, thank you so much for taking our time and speaking with us at NDTV Profit. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.